I will start by saying that uh, I never cried when I got an A minus. I threw a party when I got an A <laughs> To Father Jenkins and the Holy Cross Religious Order that built this wonderful school, to Dean Campbell, to this faculty who has worked so hard on behalf of these young people. And I had the privilege to work with them this semester. Um, their efforts are second to none. And to all of the folks around this campus, to the security, to the cooks, the gardeners, who made every day a better day for all of us here, um, if you would do one thing for me, and that is for your parents and for those of you who have spouses, why don't you give them a round of applause for giving you the opportunity to be here today? Their next job is to put their life on the line for our country. So to all of you, thank you for stepping up. I have the privilege of following Senator Luger in the Indiana Senate seat. And Wednesday was Senator Luger's funeral in Indianapolis. And we received a little booklet at the funeral. And Senator Luger had one of his comments in the back. It said, our greatest moments as a nation, the moments that have defined national character and propelled our society forward, have been those when we have sacrificed something for more than just our own self. I am convinced the majority of the American people understand we have a moral responsibility to foster the concepts of opportunity and free enterprise, the rule of law, and democracy. They understand that America and these values are the hope of the world. And you are now that hope. Not too much responsibility, but the whole world is waiting for for the opportunity to work with you, for the opportunity to have you show your talents that you've worked all your life on. And when we do, I think we're right up there. God, country, Notre Dame. Going out to work with the world, to change the world. I sat where you are many years ago. I will tell you one other story. And it is this. So the night before, I was cleaning my room up. I lived with five other guys in a uh, not-so-classy house on Marquette Street here in town. And I found a library book under my bed. We've been told all week, if you haven't turned in all your library books, you are not getting your diploma. So that morning, I found the library book. And then my dad said, boy, I can't wait to see your diploma later today. <laughs> and I said, I can't wait to see it either, Dad. <laughs> and that graduation day was much like this. For, for all of you who are from around the country, I guess you don't know it, but the weather in South Bend is like this every single day of the year. <laughs> San Diego is known as the South Bend of California. <laughs> <laughs> but... This degree gave me the opportunity to do so many things. I worked in private business for over 20 years before I was involved in politics, before I served in office. And this degree, what these professors did, is they taught me to think. And what I talked about in our class this year was, you know, I don't have the right answer. You don't have the right answer, but whatever you propose, bring the facts and think it through and have a reason to back it up. You're the leaders that are going to make America move into the future. And what this department has brought you is the ability to think, to lead, 
and with your parents, your spouses, and others to help form character, to help make you who you are. I came as the grandson of immigrants. My brother and I were the first ones in our family to ever go to college. I grew up on Long Island. I had never been west of New Jersey in my entire life until I came to Notre Dame. And this opened up all of the windows. And that's what you're going to see as you move forward. And the way you're going to do it is just what we were talking about. Trying to do the right thing the right way. I had a classmate, class of 77, and his motto was do the right thing the right way. J. Will and Mary said if you take care of the small things, the big things take care of themselves. I had the privilege to work on a number of big legislative issues. In the morning of the Affordable Care Act, I was in the House of Representatives of that vote. I called up Father Hesper. Believe it or not, he answered the phone. <laughs> Father Hesper was not known for being able to be found on a regular basis. But I talked to him. I said, this is a big one, Father. And he said, well, let me ask you this. And, and I had talked to him on a regular basis every year. He said, well, you we went to Notre Dame. We tried to teach you the right things. We tried to teach you how to think. We assume you've done your homework on this. So if we've done our job, then you know what to do. You don't need advice from me. Other than, don't do what's easy. Do what's right. And that's the lesson that Father has heard every year. We say, don't do what's easy, do what's right. And that's who you are. You're not here because it was easy to get here. You're here because you did the right things, because you worked so hard, because you're focused, because you made sure that you use your talents. And so you have opportunities ahead that you're not ever going to dream of, that are going to show up and be more than you could ever hope for. Like we said, I started on the Mishawaka Marion High School School Board. I got a phone call, they said, you've been elected to the school board. It's a Catholic high school. They said, I didn't run. <laughs> and they said, we know. Five of us got together and voted for you. You're in. They said, I don't have time. They said, then you have to tell the bishop you won't serve. <laughs> I was at the next meeting. But from that, all the other windows opened up. So never, ever give up. Abraham Lincoln lost when he ran for Congress, lost when he ran for Senate, saved the country. Persistence, think of our, think of our service members in Normandy, which 75th celebration is coming up just in a few weeks. Those young men got off those boats and looked at a cliff that was 100 feet high. And if they didn't make it, the whole world would be And they looked at each other and said, how are we going to do this? And they had repelling guns. First one got knocked down, the second one got knocked down, the third one got knocked down. But they kept at it. They went up the hill. And they helped save the world. So, I would tell you, never give up. Be persistent. Work hard. And you are going to be fighting Irish alone. What do we fight for? We fight to make sure that every child can have a full stomach and have a chance to succeed. That everybody in our country can get decent health care. So that that child in the red house and that child in the greenhouse, if they have diabetes or muscular dystrophy, can both be taken care of. And you'll be the one who makes that happen. So we're proud to be the fighting Irish. We're proud to be graduates of this university. And we are all so proud of you for all you've accomplished these past four years. 
God bless you. God bless Notre Dame.